Hello. I'm going to harvest some mulberry leaves. I'm here in my backyard foraging for some mulberry leaves. So I basically want to get the younger leaves. And some of them are kind of chewed up, but I'm going to do the best I can to harvest some of those leaves. And the birds have kind of gotten into the tree because they do love the mulberries. So I hope you can hear me. Mulberries are very healthy. This tree planted itself back here in the woods. So I'm going to take advantage of that. So I'll be back once I get enough harvested for some tea for Tea Tuesday. All right, so I have some mulberry leaves and I even got one mulberry. But those doggone birds, they don't leave me any mulberries to eat. So I'm going to go in now and make some mulberry tea and we'll have Tea Tuesday. All right, so this is what I gathered. I'm gonna wash these real well. And here I'm saving food for my worms. And then I'm going to make a tea out of this. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to make the tea with my French press. And hopefully it'll be tasty. All right, I'll be back. All right, so. This is my French press. I've had this for a lot of years. And every once in a while, I'll take it out and make some coffee. I used to uh, use this to make Capomo coffee, which is um, a type of nut. And when I went through a phase where I wasn't drinking coffee because of reflux and, and you know, GI problems, um, I made some of this Capomo coffee and it's really tasty, but it is expensive, but I used to use the French press for that. So if you want to use a French press to make coffee, I'm not sure, this looks like it holds about, oh, maybe two, two cups, two and a half cups. So depending on how strong you like it, you just scoop your coffee in here however strong you like it, and then um, you pour your water over it, and then you add your top, which is like a plunger, and it has a very fine mesh sieve to keep the coffee on the bottom or the tea. So you can use your French press to make coffee or tea or whatever it is you like. So I boiled some water, um, and I have all my leaves that I gathered from the um, mulberries. And I had one mulberry that was eh, kind of ripe, and the, the birdies eat them. I, I can't really get too many mulberries. Now one year I did get some mulberries, and I froze them and added them to a fruit salad that I made with fresh and frozen fruit and it really gave a, a really pleasant taste to the fruit salad. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with water. And then I'm going to let this steep for quite a while because I like a strong tea. So 
I don't want to overfill it. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top. So even if you leave this out for, you know, 12 hours or whatever, it should be good. So then I'm just going to press all this down. And let it steep. So a mulberry tea is very good for you, mulberry leaf tea. And uh, I don't remember what it's good for, but I did rem uh, read a long time ago that it has, has a lot of good medicinal qualities. So I have to look that up again to share that with you. So I'm going to let this steep and then I will be back with you later. So here is my mulberry leaf tea and I added some uh, sweetener to it. And my daughter got me this glass birthday or Christmas, I don't remember. And I, you probably can't see this, but it's got a dog and it says, it's not really drinking alone if the dog is home. <laughs> so cheers, here's the tea. It's tasty. So I, I've had this tea in the fridge in my French press overnight. And so uh, I just kept it in there and with the, with the leaves in it because I like it strong. So it makes a good iced tea. But I just wanted to real quickly go over some of the benefits and I wrote them down because I don't remember them off the top of my head. But some of the benefits of drinking mulberry leaf tea. Um, okay, it contains calcium, iron, zinc, and magnesium for your bones. It lowers blood sugar. It's anti-diabetic. Um, uh, lower, lowers blood sugar spikes. So it slightly reduces cholesterol. It's anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's good for mild headaches. Contains B2. Uh, it's good for some weight loss. It's good for your heart health. It has bioflavonoids, so it fights uh, atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis, I can never say that. Um, it has vitamin C for your immunity, vitamin A for uh, eye health. It helps with constipation. But I just want to put a disclaimer in here before you go out and pick leaves and make your own tea, do your own research. There's lots of research on this online. So um, go on the internet and do a little reviewing of your own. Don't just take my word for it. Um, sometimes I like to forage and try different things but that doesn't mean it's good for your particular um, constitution. So um, do your own research before you try this, but it is tasty. So, and it's very refreshing. So I went out today to Aldi's and um, they had some uh, little mini raised beds. I, have, I haven't been there yet, but I'm going to go shortly and then I will show you if I got them and what I got. And they were advertised for $18.99. So I want to take a look and see what those are. And then I also have to go to Walmart and pick up some creamer because I'm almost out. So, but uh, I'm going to keep it on the low key as far as food goes because I'm still using up a lot of the things that I have and only replacing what, I, what I've used and not continuing to stash more and more food because I don't want it to go to waste. So I will be back after I get back from Aldi's and Walmart and I'll show you what I got. All right, so I just got back from my shopping. Aldi's was a total bust. 
they didn't have any more of the little raised beds. I got there around 10 o'clock and she said they had people waiting in line for them. So that was a bust, didn't get anything at all these. But I did get a bunch of stuff at Dollar Tree and it's mostly just snacks because we're gonna be out on the boat this weekend and I thought it'd be kind of fun for the 4th of July to have some snacks. So let me show you what I bought. And they did have some uh, vegetarian options. So first thing I got was this Celeste pizza, cheese pizza for one. I got that. I got this humongous <laughs> bean and cheese burrito. That's enough for two meals for me. And this is all stuff I'm pretty much taking to the boat. They have these cream cheese popper bites and mozzarella sticks. So I'm going to take my little toaster oven with me on the boat. And then they have these veggie meatballs. Never tried any of these, but I figured those would be fun finger foods. To have on the back of the boat with a little drinky poo and, and that should be fun. And I also got, these were also in the freezer, uh, super pretzel, soft pretzel bites and they're frozen too. So I got some couple things of Velveeta cheese sauce to go with the pretzel sticks. So that should be fun, and I can also put that on my burrito. So that was my freezer stuff, and I'm going to put that away, and then I will be back and show you what else I bought. Okay, so I got a couple of, this is all from Dollar Tree. I got a couple of boxes of macaroni and cheese. We like that. Um, now this is all snacks for this weekend. Um, this is not a healthy haul. It's just snacks and stuff. So I picked up these. I love cheese balls. So I picked these up for a dollar. I have to see if they're any good. Then I got a hint of lime tortilla chips. I have some hummus that I'm going to take along and some salsa and that would be good with that. Then I got these for a salad because I'm almost out. They're the cheese and sesame and they're good. I've gotten them several times before. I got corn chips. And they're the dipping kind, so they're a little bigger. I love corn chips. I don't eat them very often, but these would be good with the cheese dip too. Yes, I got a lot of junk food. And I got these mini pretzels. I like these with hummus too. So those will be going along because sometimes when you're on the boat, you don't always have, you know, big meals. We don't really cook much on the boat, so we'll have lots of snacks. And then I got some just random things. I think that's it with the food. So I want to make a wreath or something for the boat. And I got this, this anchor and this lighthouse, they're the balsa wood, and I want to paint those. Tom can put them on the boat if he wants. The nice thing is they light up. I don't know if you can see that. They light up. That one does, and so does this one. Let's see. So they light up. So I was thinking of making a wreath and sort of hot gluing these to the wreath. 
And then what else I bought was um, I bought some uh, raffia. I thought that would be kind of a beachy kind of vibe. And I bought some paints to paint the lighthouse and the anchor. They have two different kinds with different colors. So I got those. So that'll be for a craft I'm going to do. Another thing I want to put on the reef are the seashells. So I think I think that'll be cute. We'll see how it turns out. But that's going to be for a project. And then I, I buy these <clears throat> um, headbands because they're comfortable. A lot of them are too tight or, you know, they give me a headache after a while. But these seem to be pretty comfortable. And you get the three and I keep them in my car when I have the top down or the windows open. Just to keep my hair out of my face or when I'm gardening. I can't stand my hair in my face because I sweat. So I actually got two sets of those because I keep keep them all over the place. So I got those. And they did have the blue uh, temporary color for the uh, shampoo that I made. If you didn't catch that, um, I'll post that up in the cards where I made the uh, purple shampoo and conditioner. Um, and I used blue and purple. So, but they didn't have the purple. They only had green and pink, which doesn't do me any good because I don't want green and pink hair. And then they have these that I thought were really cute. And I want to keep one of these on the boat. They're a phone charger. And then they have a matching little case that goes with it. And I, I'm always losing these or looking for them. So this will fit inside of here. So I got one in pink. And I got one in blue. And they're a dollar a piece, obviously. The Dollar Tree. So I got those. And I got... Well, this is kind of scrunched up. But I got this Clean It Naturally magazine. Again, you know, they're dollar magazines. They're pretty good. I, I enjoy them. So it's natural cleaning things. And let's see, just a few more things. And I couldn't resist. This is salted watermelon. And it smells really good. So I only got one candle. Normally I pick up a whole bunch of them, but I only got one. And I got some white paint to go with these really bright colors because I like to mute it down. I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of primary colors. I like more, a little more muted. And then my um, smoke detector started beeping, so I had to get, I got four um, super heavy duty batteries the 9 volt. And uh, last but not least, I actually had a couple colors I don't have. I have this for a summer color. And then I have this one, which is like a more like a rose. And that's it for my um, Dollar Tree haul. And I spent $40 in tax. So it came to $40.84. So I don't know. Can you even see that? Well, anyway, that's what it came to. So I have snacks for the 4th of July weekend. I have a project. I have chargers. And um, a magazine. That'll keep me busy. So... Then I, I went to Harbor Freight. I wanted to get zip ties. And I had a box of zip ties, a whole box of them. And I must have forgotten them outside on the lawn in the back. 
and I think my landscapers went ran off with them because I cannot find them anywhere. They are just gone. And I'm surprised how expensive zip ties have gotten. I mean, it's ridiculous. So I bought some zip ties. And these are just the black bigger ones. And I think there's 100 and they're 8 inch. And they were at Harbor Freight. $1.99 in tax, so it came to $2.15. So these weren't too expensive, but if you go to buy the variety pack, yeah, it's $10, $20, and more. So, and then I just got a couple things at Home Depot. I went to Harbor Freight actually for some um, oil for my little chainsaw. They were out. So I had to go to Home Depot and I got chainsaw oil. So I got that and I got this, this little hummingbird wind chime because it actually is the colors of a hummingbird. I bought a purple one earlier, but I'm gonna put this in my garden too. And then last but not least, I got this big black pot because I'm going to try and put that in my little fountain because it's broken and then set up my fountain. So that's all I got. And uh, that's it. I'm really disappointed that I didn't get my raised little beds, but oh well, God has a reason. I'm sure something else will show up. So anyway, that's all I have for you on this Key Tuesday. And um, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, Please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.